Uh, so what did I do yesterday? Then how did our stream end yesterday? Well, I was doing some icons for our journal. Because um, we have a quest journal in our game, which I believe is a very awesome feature in all honesty. It's good to keep track of quests and keep them organised. That's my one flaw with the Final Fantasy games. Sometimes you got lost and you didn't know what you were doing because it, things weren't very straightforward. Um, but um, I do like the RPGs that do have quest logs because I, I love that organisation. So we're going for this that approach with Raindrop Chronicles 2. And I, I didn't like the default icons. Um, the default icons will all gradually get changed and replaced with better icons that fit with the look more. Probably pixel art ones. And some of them I've been designing from scratch myself. But the majority of them I'm gonna I'm gonna take from the resources, the RPG Maker resources online, because there's a few really cute pixel art icons out there. Um, but yeah, I have been designing some of my own, and yesterday um, I was a little bit stuck on what to have some of the icons out as, so I asked you guys, but I've finally finished them. I've done them, so I'm going to open up Photoshop and I'm going to show you what I've done. But first, let's catch up with chat. Oh my goodness! 358 raindrops elite are you proud of yourself because you should be i mean you've be you're one of our newer community members elite but a very very awesome one that has made a very good impression i have to say <laughs> so um yeah you've, you've really got those raindrops fast i'm proud of you Hey Rose Rainbow, have you given any more thought to the RPG Maker team on Twitch? Maybe Do Dr. Cheese Weasel will join us. Well, I would love to do it. I mean, it's definitely something on my mind. The only, only thing that I'm hesitant about is the fact that the team doesn't officially belong to me. Because I'm not a Twitch partner. Um, only Twitch partners have access to Twitch teams. And... Um, I do actually own the team because it was given to me by the Twitch partner. It's currently not in use. It's like just a blank page because the team got disbanded. Um, so it no longer exists and I do have control of it. But because it didn't originally belong to me, it kind of scares me a bit that, uh, that maybe one day I won't have it anymore. Like what if me and my friend fall out or something and they take it from me? Not that that would happen, but it just it's something in the back of my mind. So part of me would feel better if I was an official Twitch partner myself and had team. Obviously, that's something that's very far out of my reach, but um, I'll, I'll say. But um, yeah, I would love to do it though, Elite. I really would because I think it's a cool idea and I'll still um, I'll, if I was gonna gonna if I was gonna do it it would probably be in the new year or something um, uh, or very early on next year so we'll say we'll say anyway let's catch up with chat I'm not a regular then yes you are Fantasia I would be glad to join Yay! I was thinking of streaming soon as well, but don't have a cam right now. Soon, meaning sometimes this week. Oh, what? Are you going to be streaming RPG Maker content then, Cheese? Um, Elite has been. It's been. It's been really awesome to see other people streaming RPG Maker. Hi, uh, hi, Mark. Mark without an A. I'll still call you Mark. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I started waking up half early half now just to get those drops. I know, that's so cool. Going to be lurking in some stuff around the house. Love you. Oh, thank you, Val, for popping in. We love you too, and I appreciate the lurk. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What team are you talking about, says Mark? Um, in a potential future team of people doing this sort of thing on Twitch, like RPG Maker content, very like story driven games and stuff. Um, I, it, it's been a topic of discussion to have a kind of team like that in the future. Rose is the MVP of the team, yay! Ask them to sign it over to you. Yeah, I actually do with the ownership, like, but because it wasn't originally mine, I guess it just makes me a bit nervous, but apparently it is mine now. I've got to just be okay with 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 that you know what i mean if something didn't originally belong to you would you guys understand where i'm coming from that kind of makes you a bit nervous maybe 
but I'll, I'll overcome that <laughs> I'll overcome it I'm sure and and uh, when, when, I, when it's the right time I might decide to make use of that page because I used to be on a twitch team you see there was just a few of us on it and um, I was basically a kind of community manager for the team but it but it it did get disbanded because it didn't work out basically we didn't we decided well it was mainly the the owner of the team they decided they didn't want to continue with it so it got disbanded but I still happen to have a ownership of it so it's just a blank page with no name now so I'll be able to change it to whatever I want I'll have I'll, I'll be able to do whatever I want to it if I wish so hopefully it doesn't get taken from me one day inspired me to stream it wasn't sure at first but it's very motivating and no one has made fun of you yet oh you've not had trolls that's awesome yeah sometimes uh, that can be a worry the troll thing I mean we we rarely get them here in this channel um, I've been very lucky um, but obviously it can happen now and again and when it does you just ban them <laughs> you just ban them basically Good to know the timeline, T.Y. Yay! But at least there's a very good chance that 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 sort of thing will probably happen as long as as long as it, the team, the the person who originally on the team doesn't just message me one day and say it says actually I want that team back. I'm having it like because there's always that chance if you know what I mean because it wasn't mine and as long as that doesn't happen then early next year I'll probably consider putting a team together or something just so you know might as well let you know what the plans are um who is Mark you what would you rather me call you <laughs> I saw MRK as your first bit of your name so I was like yeah Mark <laughs> that's fair enough actually you would not want a, a lot of hard work to be laying on the edge I have motivation to do it now along with all the coding stuff. Yay! I'm glad I'm glad that you guys do decided to do it. Team Rose always. Oh, thank you, Fantasia. Okay, so time to get Photoshop up and show you guys what I've been doing. So there's a few new icons from yesterday, and I'm gonna just go through them. So it was these four that we were doing at the end of stream yesterday. These are like icons for the quest journal. That's read quest, that's cancel. And these two are the ones I was stuck with. But I think I'm okay with these ones. Um, this is an eraser, I hope you can tell. For clear quest, clear active quest. I'm going to burp. Why do I always have the burp from a stream? And this one is um, current active quest. And I had I struggled knowing what icon to have for that, and I had some really good ideas, but I knew it had to be something really simple. And I thought an eye, because that like shows that it's the current quest, because you know you watch, you, you know. That, I hope that kind of makes sense. We'll have a look at how it looks in the UI now. See what you guys think. And also these icons, these two aren't mine. These were assets I found online. Um, but I'm going to use them as a reference and turn them into pixel art of like similar kind of style. But these ones I did yesterday myself too. They're updated versions of the current quest UI we've got. So the, the exclamation mark and the question mark are basically the quest UI. Um, they go over the NPC's heads if they've, if they've got a quest. It's exclamation mark for mark main quest and question mark for side quests at the moment. And I did like do, yeah, this was the original exclamation mark, but I think I prefer this one. It's a bit more suited to the style of the game. So we'll, we'll probably go along with that one. And we got just a few little extra bits and bobs to edit with that. Got to do like a... A white version of it because I think we'll have the, a gold one for when it hasn't been accepted yet and maybe a white one for in progress or something and uh, they'll, they'll show on the map as well to show where the NPCs are that will give you quests yay <laughs> I am Cheshire oh okay I'll call you Cheshire then if, if that's what you prefer of course I'd rather call you by a name that you'd rather be called <laughs> mark is very random i do agree <laughs> black rose here yeah you put you like black rose over white rose what's black rose and white rose guys is black rose evil rose and white rose is pure angelic rose is that how it works 
<laughs> hello everybody hi storm how are you doing today it's really good to see you my goodness look at those look at that act octopus fantasia <laughs> um right so i'm gonna do a quick test play i'm gonna show you guys how the icons look in our journal and all the all the quest journal icons are basically done now um but yeah we'll be focusing on the quest icons for now and putting them on the map because that's also a super important thing to do and i'll probably get the quest descriptions written up as as well making sure it all looks presentable quest stupid black textbook what i'm going to do today as well is i'm going to start a new game um at some point and see if if i start a new game the black text disappears because part of me thinks maybe it's because i was messing about with some plugins and it's done that because i'm halfway through the game sometimes bugs happen because of that reason so you never know um so you guys that haven't seen the very early the game very early on you'll get a chance to see it um but you, all, you can always just watch the youtube videos if you haven't seen the early part of the game because we've got every single YouTube video from the every single stream from the very first Raindrop Chronicles stream up on there. Ooh, there's more chat going on. I'm missing it all. Rose is the captain of the team. I'm the captain. What was that about an octopus? Oh, Fantasia's got octopus tentacle emotes. That's what. I'm the red power ranger, am I? Awesome. I do like the colour red. I am back. Hi, White. What? How are you doing? We have missed you. How have you been? How is? How are things going? I still haven't done your character yet, White. What? There's you and Fantasia that are next on the list, and the reason I haven't is because I was waiting for you to come back. Um, I'd rather do it, of course, when you're around. Um, but at the same time, I think you said there was some stuff you wanted to send me about your character too. So I thought I'd hold off. And wait until you'd confirmed it was all good to start them. But I'll be—I'll probably either do, you know, sometime next week, maybe. I was—I was, I was going to do it tomorrow. More characters, but um, Fantasia is not around tomorrow for, for theirs. But there will be next week. Yay! Rose Rangers. <laughs> what are the other? What is the? I love how you guys are just coming up with some some little group. <laughs> White Rose. Dr. Cheese it, the Weasel is black. <laughs> oh, right, okay. I kind of get it, maybe. You guys are crazy. Okay, so. Oh, it's already got uh, the. Um, that isn't our. Uh, that isn't the icon that we're using, no. That isn't my exclamation mark. I think it is my exclamation mark, but in an early version of it, you can't even see on the map barely. And I changed it a bit. I gave it a bit of a darker outline so it'd stand out more on the map. So we'll update it to the new version soon. Um, but let's have a peek in our quest journal. So all new icons in here. Um, so yeah, these are the ones we've got. So you can clear active quest and then it'll disappear. You won't have it on the map. Um, or you can you can set it back as active. Because sometimes like this game is going to be very heavy with quests. There'll be a bunch of different side quests, a bunch of... And you won't necessarily... You'll want to be able to set the active quest you want. So it's cool that that option's there. Pizza, yeah. Well, I'll, t I'll take the pizza, but not the bowling. I can't bowl. I'm noob. <laughs> Welcome to the, the stream. Thank you for the follow, by the way. TY for the follow. So, yeah, here's our new icons. Um, much better than the default ones, in my opinion. Um, pi the pixel style fits more with the look of the game that we've got. Um, uh, so I'm going to probably edit the objectives. There's a couple more I'm going to want to add. So we'll do that in a bit. But we'll also have to do our UI for the, the map indicators as well today. Because it would be really cool to get them all set up. It's a little bit compli 
probably going to get a bit complex at some point and I'll have to get my focus on my thinking cap but we'll do it I feel like it's a it'll be a good job out the way and because the skill discussion is a little bit early for me I, I kind of want the weekend to prepare and like get a plan up of skill ideas so I can talk to you guys about them on Monday's stream because at the moment I'm still a little bit unsure but we'll get there Every time I see Jesus, I will say Jesus until he comes to the stream. Yay, Jesus. You can, you can, I'm sure there's many like characters you guys can create. You can recreate some of your favorite characters from video games, probably in our character generator. I mean, it isn't the most detailed character generator out there, but I think it's, I've done a pretty good job with it. So that's it, well, Put that away for now and anybody that's uh, just popped into the stream like white what who hasn't been around for a while if you're curious we have done a lot in the last few weeks we've recently written all the dialogue and cut scenes for the first quest we've uh, the cabin is probably 90 percent there now want to add a little bit more detail to the floor though um so yeah cut scenes done and we just like we still got a lot of skill work to do with the player skills and the enemy skills, but really that is our final task before we start the first boss of this area. So I'm excited. Oh my god, Sleeping Jackal. I did not hear an alert noise then. Thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Can we have some hype for Sleeping Jackal, please? That is very kind of you. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a great day. Hope your Wednesday is treating you well. And thank you for the hype, guys. I need to go on stream labs and make sure my alert noise is as loud enough. So I haven't, I haven't been hearing them lately for sure. Oh yeah, Ruben sir, thank you for the follow. I nearly missed that one as well. My uh, my my sounds have gone very mute. Or maybe I'm going deaf. Maybe. Okay, so back to photoshop okay so we got graphic scale open as well because i do all the actual working graphic scale and i just copy it over to photoshop um i'm pretty happy with the rows now i needed to edit it a bit yesterday um because it was a little bit off but it's okay now it's not too bad the the rows is the icon for our second quest Oh my goodness, Dr. Cheese as well. Guys, two subs are this fast. My goodness, two, two new, new tier one subs. Sleeping Jackal and Dr. Cheese Weasel. Guys, can we have some hype? I want to see all the hype. That's very kind. I appreciate you for doing that. And you do, just so you know, I want everyone to be aware. You might already know, but you might not. You get twice as many raindrops when you're a sub to this channel. So um, you'll get your 500 drops quicker. Then I get to 500 drops, be whereas I ha have two choices for a character, a normal character with my ideas, or my idea character, which is Big Jojo reference. Oh, well, you have a think about it, and you can use whatever character you want, Storm. You've, you've got a lot of freedom, really. The only thing that you're sort of... You have to do is pick one of the seven races, which is human elf um fairy neko reptile feline and canine so it has to kind of fall in one of those races and um akira kind of manipulated that a bit he had a human but he turned his human into a demon and that was only possible because of there is actually demon assets there are horns and there's demon teeth so uh, fortunately for akira he was able to have a demon character but if the assets aren't available, then it makes it pretty impossible to to have a character be a certain way. And that's kind of why we're restricted to those seven races. But, you know, once, you, once you've decided what race you want to be, you've got all the freedom you want with your character. And I suppose, um, eventually, it's going to... We're going to have more of law behind each of the races. The reptiles already kind of have a bit of law. They've kind of established themselves as the antagonists. But we're getting our website up in the coming weeks. And uh, there'll be a lot of information on there. There'll probably be a section about 
the races and talking about them and I want a lot of lore and info to be on the website um, and uh, the website we've actually got the domain now but it's not working yet there's been a few issues I've been emailing my host don't know what's going on but hope because tomorrow is the 50th stream so hopefully it will be actually working for our 50th stream so we can celebrate I am hype yay <laughs> Big brain idea, create two accounts and sub twice with two characters. Oh my goodness. By the way, do you know what is Jojo? Like the only Jojo I know is Mojo Jojo from, um, is it is it Dexter's Laboratory or the Powerpuff Girls? <laughs> but, but I had this debate with someone a few months ago and I, I thought it was from one cartoon, but it was another. But yeah, that's the only, that's the only Jojo I know, the villain from that cartoon. <laughs> That is actually big brain. It's a very, um, you know, it's a logical way to do it, cheese weasel. <laughs> you know, a bit, bit deceitful, but you know. I mean, it depends if you tell us that you've got another character, another account, I guess, or you could pretend to be an entirely different person. Icons looking awesome. You added in the pixie god rose. How are you handing those quest objectives on the top right corner? I'll see about sending in my documents about my character soon. So sorry, no worries at all. Why, what? I just want to like say that it's very normal and fine if you guys have time away from Twitch. You don't have to apologise. You've got lives. So um, obviously the game will always carry on when you're away. That won't be stopping. So, but if, if, if you know, you don't have to be here constantly this isn't i don't want to ever put any pressure on you guys but yeah i did add the god rays and they're super pretty i much prefer them and we've still i've still got a little bit of lag issues when transitioning screens and i think that might be the parallax map plugins fault i think there's probably better ones because i'm using bind picture to map plugin i think that's what it's called and I did Google that plugin and I've heard that some people say it's a bad plugin. Some people have said it's slow and hogs too much memory or something. So I might see if there's a better parallax map plugin and it might be a lot faster and immediate because I want those images to load in as fast as possible, really. It doesn't happen often where they're slow at loading, but at uh, 10% of the time, you know you know it might happen and we don't we want it to be zero percent um but as for handling the quest objectives on the top right corner what do what do you mean exactly the top right corner um right Do dr cheese chipmunk <laughs> jojo's bizarre adventure no I've, i think i've heard of it but i haven't watched it storm eagle Lisa, how is the website coming well it's stream 50 tomorrow and i would ideally be able to say guys the domain is working we've got a dot com domain so yeah we've got a proper established professional website yay um but this is the website host's fault the no the basically the website's balked um for some reason it's not loading and i've messaged them and told them about it and my domain registration messed up as well so it's their fault but hopefully for tomorrow's stream our 50th stream they'll it'll be all up and running i'll be honestly it's been a bit of a hassle this week trying to get that website set up but there won't be actually any content on the website tomorrow obviously i've only just got the domain um it's going to take a few weeks to get it looking all pretty and getting all the info in but i'll gradually be adding to that over time and tomorrow hopefully we'll at least have like a coming soon page maybe that will be easy enough to get up what host is it it's i think it's dream host is the name it was a recommended one so i think dream host is the one it is the link should be in the description a better parallax plugin as the plugin link is a direct download oh okay parallax mapping to cause automatic overlay plugin so that's better than the bind the bind history what am i talking about the bind to map plugin because <laughs> yeah 
I think that might it might be the plugins fault then. I'll save that link and Storm Eagle, thanks for that, and I'll look into that plugin and if it does its job I'll I'll replace it and use that one instead. I'm somewhat of a web developer, so if you need help, I'm available. Awesome. I, I make websites too, so hopefully I'll be okay. Uh I'm using I'm using WordPress, so I, I believe that is a good one. Got a lot of flexibility with web, uh, websites with WordPress. I'm no pro, don't get me wrong, but I can I can get a website put together okay. But thank you, Cheese Weasel. If I do have any problems or anything I'm stuck with, I'll be certain to ask. Do you have experience with WordPress by any chance? Design me a web fit filled with cats inside bowls of spaghetti. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to do, we've got uh, we've got some gold icons, and I did this as well because I wanted to make sure they they stand out against the background. It doesn't matter so much for these icons here because they'll they're just for the quest journal icons, but the these are uh, these two here. We have, I obviously want them to stand out, you know. And I think they're okay, but we'll have to do a, a proper in-game test to make sure. Um, but I also want to do grayscale version of these. Because we'll need it to change when the quest has been accepted, you see. And then when the quest has been completed, it will we'll be using this icon, this tick, the same tick from the journal. And as hopefully that will show up on the map okay too. If not, we'll have to add a darker outline maybe. But I think it'll be okay. Sounds like you got it together. I've experienced with WordPress, but not as much. I make custom web servers that host. Oh, okay, that's that's badass. Um, yeah, I have to use Word. I don't. I'm not like badass enough to to start f like from scratch or do anything like that so i tend to wordpress is great because you've got a lot of choice with themes and customization and um it, there's a lot of flexibility with wordpress with plugins and stuff as well um so yeah that's that's kind of what i always use and what i've used for the last 10 years with websites and uh so i'm sticking to that and I want to make it super good, guys. I want to have a really awesome website. I want to really show off the game. So um, when it's when it's up, I'll be gradually revealing it to you all. Um, I'll be like putting up information and content. And obviously, I'll probably ask. I'll probably say uh, is, if, there are, if any of the wording needs changing or making more clear or. Or I'll ask if there's anything to add to the FAQ page or anything like that. Because we'll probably have a, an even better FAQ page on the website. Stiff, stick with what works, honestly. Yay. Better to, better to do what you know, right? Okay, so. Do you know if I want to want to make the, it blue? Or whether I want to make it, it grey? Because the blue is kind of out of colour. For Raindrop Chronicles. Oh no, we don't want that one changed. Yeah, I'll do it this way because it's just easier if I just uh, do a colour replace the thing. I'm going to have them blue for now, but I might change them to grayscale if it looks weird. We'll see how it looks first. Moonies blue and grey quite similar anyway. It would just need a little bit more saturation on it probably. I mean desaturation. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is copy and paste these and put them in Photoshop and then I'm gonna actually put them into the game and see how they look on the map. And then we'll just um, sort out the events, make sure they're working properly. And um 
get them on the mini map as well so they to go appear on the mini map we have to create them as images not as icons so uh, we'll have to do that too now i'll probably make them a little look a little bit more minimal on the mini map probably won't have any extra colors i'll probably have it as a one color sort of icon for the mini map because our mini map's really minimal but i do like the updated uh quest markers much better than our original ones because our original ones look like something that could you know just have been it doesn't really fit much with the style of the game it just looks a little bit more more suitable so i'm not sure what other icons we're gonna need we're definitely gonna need an arrow because i'm going to be using the arrows for um the mini map to show that the destination is on the next map and stuff just as a sort of guide um, and we'll, I hope that that won't be too hard to set up but it probably will be a bit a bit of work but it'll be worth it we'll see how it, how it goes um, is that properly centered nope it is now though But yeah, these, these are just references, these arrows here. I saw them online, they were on the RPG Maker form, and I thought these are pretty cool for um, direction sort of markers for the mini map. Um, but I will be changing them to the, so they fit more with the style we've got. And all these icons here, all, all these, a lot, these will gradually get replaced because it's not that I'm not fond of them, they're fine. I just want something that's more pixely uh, and fits more with the style and I want the game to have an original touch to it as well we don't want to use default stuff okay so save um, and we'll get those put, put in And we got the raindrop icon here, which is for our currency, because our currency is going to be raindrops. And I'm not sure we're going to have the square background, but I'll, I'll have a little play around with that and see if it works better without that. Kaz and Kung, how are you doing today, guys? Oh my goodness, I need to switch back to this screen. Because we can't see all our cute little characters on this screen. Sometimes I forget that I haven't switched screens. I was still in my playtest screen, that's why. How are you doing now, guys? Are you having a good midweek? Wednesday is a great day, isn't it? What's everybody's favourite day? You're all going to say Friday, aren't you? The day I don't stream. That's what you're going to say. <laughs> Saturday, yeah. That's also a day I don't stream. But you know, Friday and Saturday is everybody's favourite days. It's no surprise. Okay, so that icon set is saved now. Um, so what icon have we currently got above Fiona? That must have been our icon then that was above her. It just updated it. It didn't look too bad. I just think maybe it needs to look a little bit clearer maybe. Maybe just a slightly darker outline will do the trick. Um, ghosty, thank you for the host. I hope you're doing well. Monday after a long weekend, I need to see Rose again. Oh my God, You, I didn't even expect you to say that. I didn't expect anybody to say that day i'm very on it <laughs> monday has a sparkle of course are oh. okay 330 icon and it, it 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 should be i really need to number these I need to find an easy way of numbering them um that's yeah that's that's 320 yeah so it did update to that one um but really that isn't the icon we're gonna have above fiona we're actually gonna have the no we're not gonna have the tick above fiona actually 
What I'm going to do first before we add these icons is I'm going to write the quest description because I don't know whether Fiona's going to be our destination for the completed quest or whether we should go back to Lakefall first and have now Nigel be there because it would make sense to have a return to Lakefall objective and tell Nigel that his sister is safe um, and then that quest would finish. So maybe we should do that. Because he's kind of the one who gave us the quest, if you know what I mean. Because I was originally going to end the quest once Fiona gives us the sacrifice quest. You kind of like Tuesday? I, I think Tuesday is a very underrated day. It's not appreciated enough. Payday, which means new manga day. Oh, it's payday. That's awesome, Kes. You get paid every week. Yeah, that's that's really cool that you get weekly pay. Because at my last job, it was monthly. But weekly's cool. Okay, so we're going to... I'm going to update the quest. We're going to give it a, an awesome description. Some new objectives. The, the objectives are okay as they are, probably. But I'm going to make a slight edit. I think go to the Everbloom Forest is fine. But I'm actually going to get rid of the the. Because it's not called the Everbloom Forest. It's called Everbloom Forest. So I'm just being a bit overly fussy there. And instead of saying go to Silent Haven, I might actually change it to... Um, go to the lake near the cabin because um, Nigel actually that's what he says when he describes the location he doesn't say Silent Haven he just says the lake near the cabin um, so I kind of want to keep it a bit more vague like that and not actually say the place um, because uh, for the sacrifice quest, it's we're gonna have go to the heart of the Everbloom Forest as the objective. We're not gonna say go to Ancient Overlook, which is where it is. We're actually gonna just be a bit more vague about the and because we've got we're gonna have like direction markers on the mini map anyway. It's not like it's gonna we're gonna make it that will make it fine. People will know where they're going. Rose, rose days are great days. Yay! You guys are the sweetest. In Australia it's weekly, but here in Prague it's monthly. We we only have monthly here. It sounds better being vague when saying the location. Yeah, I think it's it it just uh, it makes more sense, I suppose. Especially if the NPC that gave the quest doesn't say the place. If they if they're vague about it, then so should the quest description. It, it doesn't make sense to like add and expand on what the NPC hasn't told us, if you know what I mean. Uh, we just, whatever's in, whatever the NPC that gives us the quest tells us, that will be what should be in the quest log, not any more information. Because how would, how would we know if we haven't been told it? Um, go to the lake near the cabin. And obviously when we get here, which is, you know, behind us is the light with the cabin. Um, in the, the screen we've currently got up, it'll show that we've got there and it'll go green, that quest. But we'll do a lot of that testing today and make sure it's working. Go to the light near the cabin in Everbloom Forest. And Everbloom Forest is, because it's a location, it'll be highlighted colour. Um... And then for the third objective, you guys can't actually see me writing these objectives because it doesn't pop up with this pop up, although it is here on my display capture. Um, I want to try and see if I can get a window capture for that working actually. I'll just give it a quick try. Oh, I'm all coloured up. I'm hiding. <laughs> right. Plugin manager. That's not it. Plugin. Oh, here it is. Wow. Too big. Uh, 
And there's so many pop-ups in RPG Maker. It can be it, having them as window captures is really hard because there's there's literally there's another pop-up I've got up that isn't showing either. But um, it's so much easier if I just stick to using this screen always. It'd be way easier, but you know, for privacy reasons and my own safety, I can't really because who knows what could pop up. You know, they, my, it's my notifications that could come up saying my address or real name or something. So when the, when you can't control what you've got on your screen, it could be a bit dangerous as a streamer. So I do. That's why I stick to just having control of what appears. It's a shame. This, I don't think there's an easier way to handle it really. Um, so I just do it this way. <laughs> okay. But you'll see, you'll see soon, guys, because we'll be doing a play test, and you'll see my new updated, updated objectives. Um, so, for the third objective, it's going to be more simple. It'll be find Fiona Buckington because Nigel is going to give us her name. He didn't originally give us her name, but now he does. Now I've edited his text. And that way, Fiona doesn't have to introduce herself then, we'll already know her name. And then maybe for the fourth objective, we'll have Return to Lakefall and tell Nigel Buckington that his sister is safe. We'll see how that goes. Um, and Lakefall, because it's a location. We're going to have to change the colour. And hang on a minute, where is our window? Our Photoshop window UI. I have to get rid of our window capture. It's been a butt face. Okay, so we've got our window UI here. And these are the colours that we have to choose from. So that's the one we're using for Everbloom Forest. Right. I'm going to open one of the Lakefall mini maps. Um, and I think that they should be in pictures, are they in pictures? And um, this is the colour because every location is going to have its own colour and it's going to represent a sort of how the place looks like because Le Leatherbloom Forest is a forest we've gone for green and Le Lakeville is slightly um, paler green and obviously in future areas we'll go for a colour or for a desert we'll have a sandy colour for a cave we'll have brown for a volcano, we'll have red, etc. Underwater blue. Um, we'll kind of go with different colours for different locations. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that's colour five. I don't, I think I'm already using that colour for something, so I'm not going to overwrite that. Okay, so those um, quest objectives are fine. We've got to make them visible though. So there's four. There's going to be four quest objectives. And now the description. Because at the moment we've currently just got, um, this is the default quest description. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just switch to this screen for now because I want you guys to say, actually say, but I, I will be switching back to the normal screen once we've, we've once we've done it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just put a first draft in for now. 
and obviously if any of you have any suggestions to make the wording better we can do that for sure but I'm going to just put in off the top of my head what could work for this quest description for now and I think I'm going to write it in first person I think that approach could work well for the quest description I was looking at other games quest logs and I was having a look at Skyrim's and they write in first person I think their quest log i don't know how other games do it. i'll have to do a bit more research i can't remember how the witcher 3 did it now Um, yeah, she was originally 13 years old, but I'm going to age her down to 12 because I think 13 just makes her sound a bit more mature. There's a big gap between 12 and 13 in age, in my opinion. And I think just making her at that year younger makes her seem a little bit more childlike. Um, she's only 12 years old. Uh, and also I want to add a bit more there, but I'm going to have to check Nigel's dialogue for more information. Um, I should to Everbloom Forest and look for her. So that's kind of just a basic idea of what we could have for a quest description. Um, I'm going to just go back to Nigel's dialogue and remind myself what he says. So we, we might get a bit more ideas what we could have. Um, my sister, little sister hasn't come home. He can't leave the inn unattended. She went to the forest to pick some flowers. She... Yeah, that, that could be information we could add to. Okay, so we're going to change this dialogue to 12. She's the second youngest in the village, so yeah. Hey there, how's it going? Hi Sol, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? Hope your Wednesday is treating you well. And hi Neffel as well. How is it going, Neffel? I think why it tells you what to do, like travel here or collect this. Oh yeah, maybe we should look at World of Warcraft as a sort of reference and inspiration for quest log descriptions as well. Um, there's a lot of ga what games I'll ask you guys um, is there a particular RPG you think do a really good job with quest their quest journals like is there a sort of approach that you like the most because the ones I look looked at quickly when I was looking at ideas was Skyrim's and The Witcher threes I oh, that they're the two that I looked at Morrowind has a good quest journal yeah we'll look at them too so Wow and Morrowind. I'll keep that in mind. I'm actually, I'll actually make a note. So I'll remember. So if anybody pops up and says, I'll just note it down. We might have a little look in a bit on Google. Um pick some flowers i think that's the only well, we don't have to put that she's at the the lake near the cabin because we already have that as an objective so we don't need to repeat it in the quest description maybe who asked me to find his little sister she w went to the Everbloom Forest to pick some flowers and then I can say I should go there and look for her instead of repeating Everbloom Forest. You'll probably see this description better when we're actually doing the test play. And maybe if you've got any suggestions, feel free to say. It's hard to see when 
we're doing it in this little editor and it's all on one line. Um, she went to the Everbloom Forest to pick some flowers. work um, so we'll see how this looks now we the only thing we haven't done that will have not filled in is the rewards and that's because we haven't really had a discussion on items yet so once we've had a, an item stream then we might have some better ideas what a, a reward could be than for um, doing that quest because we will because we're gonna have a reward Nigel will give the player reward that does mean we will have to go back to Lakefall to tell Nigel that his sister's safe because we originally we originally did end the quest with Fiona she but we we won't we'll, we'll end it you'll have to go back to Lakefall to get your reward and have the quest in and we'll we'll have an opportunity to flesh Nigel out more then as well like um, find out why he made us look for a sister when she's perfectly capable and why she's got a, why she had a vampire locked up <laughs> is there a website for this game i forgot if in the last stream you put a link well so we're actually in the process of that we've got the domain ready raindroprpg.com i got that last week uh, currently the host is still getting the website up and running they did say give it 48 hours to be up and running and it's gone over that 48 hours now and it's still not working so i did send them an email um to see what i can do to get it up and running and they'll it's probably going to take a few weeks to get it looking decent i mean there's nothing there's it's a blank website at the moment but we'll have like a coming soon page and stuff in the meantime and um in the next few weeks we'll have it have it all working but tomorrow hopefully we can celebrate it the domain being working at least because it'll be our 50th stream and it'll be nice to have something to celebrate so fingers crossed that the host has got it working tomorrow um and we're going to make the website super cool so i'll have lots of info on there for you all i want it to be visually exciting too i don't want it to be just a massive text i want it to look really good I like that in WoW they summarise it if you lose track of what you need to do to complete the quest. Yeah, I'll copy and paste that as well, Kung, what you've just said. Because uh, it's useful to know what you actually do like about the quest logs as well. Because then it gives me an idea how I can make this it work for this game. Because I, I want it to be like that too in raindrop chronicles i want it to be to be easy to follow and make stop i don't want anybody to get lost in this game because i believe when you get lost that's when you give up i've heard so many times i've asked people says why did you start playing that rpg it's so good and they're like i got lost it's always that so um it's this is why i want to make sure the mini map, the quest log, it all exists. It, it makes makes things clear for the player what they've got to do. I'm very inspired by um, games that have a very organised approach like that. Okay, so um, I think that's done. So I'm going to do a quick test, see how it looks now. We've added a bit more info. I've always liked Final Fantasy IX's way of doing it, as real says. My son wandered off in the northern waste, no directions, no set location. Northern waste covered three zones, talking to a lot of other NPCs in that town gives some small hints to narrow it down, but that's it. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste that as well. I said Final Fantasy IX, but you mean Final Fantasy XI. <laughs> My goodness. Blooming Roman numerals. That's blood. <laughs> But okay, let's, um, I'll, write, I'll know that down as well, Asriel. Because final, I've played Final Fantasy 9, but I haven't played 11. So it'll be good to look into that and see how that you do it. I'm a I'm player of uh, 14 now, and that, that quest log's okay. But maybe 11 do an even better job, who knows. Okay, 
So I'll, uh, I'll be giving these games that you guys mention a little research after stream and uh, maybe takes over some of their ideas for our quest journal and what we've got. Because even though I put in a description now, um, it's the first draft. It, I might change it to something that works even better based on the research and ideas from other games. So uh, let's have a peek. It hasn't updated. It's update. It's update. No, it hasn't. Go to open bars. Go to. Okay, so it's got the. It's updated the light near the cabin bit, but it hasn't added the two new objectives. And it's added. It's got the description, so that's cool. Met a timid gentleman at the Lakefall Inn. I'm gonna highlight Lakefall in colour because it's a location. I'm tempted to highlight names as well. What do you guys think about high using colours for important bits of information? What's your opinion? Do you think it might it's a it's a good idea? Because I kind of have been going with that with locations, just to make them stand out more. As you can see, Everbloom Forest I've made green. Um, I'm also considering making NPC names a highlighted colour too, but I want to see what you all think um what your opinion is on that because i know a lot of games do that kind of thing ff14 looks fun it is billy it's it's a it's a it's my favorite mmo i'm unsubbed at the moment but i'm a big fan and welcome back billy i hope you're having a good day oh my goodness elite with those bitters i kind of heard the, the alert noise then but it's very quiet i need to turn it on more is it is it loud on your end guys the alert noise um, or is it super quiet? Because it might just be for me that it's quiet. Um, because I do have my set my audio live, you see, so I can concentrate. <laughs> but thank you so much for those 135 bitters. Look, Elite, you're number three now. You're number three. Oh no, you're joint number one. Ghost in True Baldi also have 500. So you are you are joint with them. But for some reason, it says you're number three. Anyway, I'm going to catch up with chat because I got distracted by those awesome bitters. Closing in on a thousand. Oh my goodness, that's real. I remember you hitting 500 raindrops as if it was just yesterday. And now you've got, you've nearly got a thousand. <laughs> I have zero patience for two complex games. Mama ain't got time exactly, Kung. So in your opinion, having things made very clear um, ha makes you more keen to play the game what's it what's a turn off in a game for you i mean I'm, i'll ask kung this but i'll also ask chat in general um what's one thing like with quests in games like rpgs and quest journals and logs what's one thing they can do badly that would put you off so i can avoid doing that i'll make sure i avoid doing whatever you say my gosh you're nearly a drizzle so nearly Good idea, Rose. Yay. I think it works well, but only when the information is critical to the main story arc, in my opinion. So, you like, is that, you mean with highlighted information, Weasel? Or you mean only have highlighted information for critical parts? Because I'm thinking just keep everything white text unless it's a location or an NPC or an item. Items, locations, people. Like all the key things like that give them a highlighted colour but general text to keep white it's kind of what I'm thinking with the route we might go with just so it stands out you know I feel like places people and items are kind of very much things that should have a sort of bit of focus maybe um I like having to explore a world for quests rather than only going to set places be because I followed a quest marker okay and that's a good point as well as real i'd love to hear an example of a game that might fail at doing that and one that does do it good i'm gonna i'm gonna note down everything you say i'm gonna copy and paste and point out that because i like sometimes i like after stream i like to reread what you guys have said and so I can take it all into account. Using my American powers for good for good again. Yeah, they need to bring bits for ads for you know in the UK, please. 
Thank you for the hype for a leak. I lurk, sorry. Oh, never apologise for lurking at all. Lurking is great. I didn't hear the alert at all. Now alert. Oh, you did. It was super silent on your end then, chat. Fair enough. I'm going to have to have a mess around with Streamlabs. You did see it come up though, didn't you? The, the little bit, uh, the, you know, the, the notification on stream. It was just the sound you didn't hear, I assume. Bad dialogue puts you off, weasel. Let's face it, you need a lot of patience to talk to me. Too much grind puts Billy off. Easy fights are lame. So you don't like easy fights, but you don't like too much grind either. Fair enough. What what I'm probably going to do with the Rock Chronicles is allow allow people to refight enemies. Like we've got on map encounters for enemies. But having them respawn seems like a logical thing to do because that's what games do, like Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy XII, Persona, games like that all have respawning. So we probably do the same. But at the same time, you don't have you shouldn't have to grind to beat the boss of the area. You you should like be able to beat it just from going through and fighting what's there once, in my opinion. You shouldn't have to but obviously there'll be some bosses in the game later on that are super challenging maybe and maybe you do have to do the bit of grind for that it's good to have your super bosses as well like your ruby emeralds and all that from final fantasy 7. one thing i hate is when the quest prints out letter by letter oh yeah slow slow text text that's too sly is that what you mean, Kung? I hope I've got that right. Interesting idea for you, Rose, taken from Shadow Run on the SNES. As you talk to NPCs more and more keywords come up, as you get more keywords, you can ask other NPCs about those topics. Okay, Shadow Run on the SNES. I thought Shadow Run was a game like a cyberpunk game on Steam. Is it a completely different game, Asriel? But I'll, ta I'll copy and paste that as well. Because we haven't really had a chance to flesh out our NPCs and we've written no dialogue for our NPCs in like four so far. But um, that's going to definitely be something we'll be doing once we've finished up the Everbloom Forest area in the first boss. We'll be going back to like fall and doing a lot of the uh, side quest stuff and NPC dialogue. I read fast and want to be able to read in my own tempo and not have to stop because the game prints it out, yeah. I think printing out is fine, maybe, as long as it's not, like, ridiculously slow. I think at least get it up at a reasonable speed <laughs> is right and a great mechanic. Mar Morrowind did the same thing. Oh, Morrowind did as well. Okay. I'll put that in brackets as well. Take from Shadow, Shadow Run and Morrowind. I want to just make sure I've got the right Shadow Run now. Because I have heard of Shadow Run, but the one I know is on Steam, and I don't want to be accidentally looking at the wrong Shadow Run guy game. Drop, drop rate of 30-40%, I think, is cool. Yeah. That's 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 a good idea too, because when we do item stream and we think the items enemies can drop loot, and that we'll have to think about things like drop rate then. My Room is a great game, it is. That's a remake, imagine. It's all based on tabletop RPG. Yeah, maybe I should look more at Morrowind as a, as a reference rather than Skyrim. Because Morrowind gets a lot more praise than Skyrim from what I've seen. But I think it's because I've never played Morrowind. I actually do own the game, but I've never played it. Maybe I should make it my mission to start playing Morrowind to give me a bit of inspiration. Before the release of episode one, at least. My winter's a lot of the older fantasy RPG elements. Honestly, a fantastic game. You won't regret it. Yeah, I've, I've been meaning to play it for a while since I got given it as a gift on Steam. Um, I think I, I think because it's sedated now, I've wondered whether I would get into it. But I've just always heard such good things about it. It set the tone for a lot of RPGs to follow. Shadowrun is a tabletop RPG, like D&D, &D, by the way. Oh, okay. And is that what the Steam games were based on, the tabletop game? I 
okay so for some reason our objectives aren't refreshing we aren't getting the two new objectives coming up um which is a little bit worrying because um it, it makes me feel like do i have to start a new game to get them to show up yeah and this is we didn't have the parallax map loading fast enough either then that's an issue too but why what's given no not why what someone else i forgot who it was now someone gave us another plugin we'll, we'll test that out okay so for some reason the quest objective is not updating so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna start a new game and literally read i'm gonna rush through this it might we're gonna have to make a custom character but i'm literally gonna just keep pressing enter and we'll rush through until we get the quest because i want to see whether starting a new game does refresh it and give us all the objectives again and if it does i'm going to be like what am i how are we going to deal with this how how are we going to deal with sometimes we might need to start a new game to refresh some features and plugins because imagine when we like super far through if we have to start a new game that's not right no way no way elite thank you for the 20 bit you're number one now Number one, hype for Elite being number one on the bit board of the month. Um, his name's Butt. So, is anyone going to create a better custom hero than Butt? I doubt it. That was unbeatable. Yay, thank you for the hype, guys. On a scale of 1 to 10, Raindrop Chronicles is a 20. Yay! It's going to be great, guys. It's going to be a good RPG. I pressed enter then to make the speed go faster on the camera. I kind of want to disable that, maybe. I don't know. That, this is Carol the Barrel, by the way. Some of you might have not met her yet. She's a, she's a waifu. Oh, why have we got the text going off the edge? Yeah, I haven't done a play test of this section in a while, so uh, clearly we have some issues with the, with the text that we need to change. Um... So this is where Nigel Buckington is, and then we'll get our quest here. But Warrior, what a, what a great custom hero. How original. Hi Carol, <laughs> Carol too hot. You know, we're gonna have to make Carol a rom romanceable character, aren't we? Some people will. Some people will have Carol as the wife of the game and romance her over anybody else. And yeah, we've still we've got our old quest um, icon at the moment. We're going to update that with our new one at, at some point today, more than likely. Why? Have, why is all our text on one line at the moment? That's really strange. Because it never <laughs> used to be like that. I must have changed something, and it, I think what it is, it's word wrap or something. I must have disabled it. I also need to send to those. yeah so as you can see guys our quest thingy has updated and i'm confused now i'm thinking why has it updated with a new game but it doesn't when i'm loading a game because we're going to be doing this a lot we're going to be we're going to obviously edit our quest log a lot um, and it would suck to have to start a new game every single time. Like, no, what are we going to do? Is there a plan? Is there something we can do to resolve this problem? There has to be. Also, the lake full colour is wrong. It's lilac and it shouldn't be. It should be light green. <laughs> so I have to fix that too. Um, I think I know why that is. I am um, coloured in the wrong window PNG, that's why. I'm a silly. 
His hair looks like a bot kind, do you think? <laughs> he does. It's, it's, he's very different to Jesus, isn't he? <laughs> you don't have a beard for a start. It's a she. Oh, you mean Carol the Barrel? <laughs> Or do you mean but? No, I'm confused. Okay, Carol, Carol, wife who ended his best ending even better than hidden. Yeah, <laughs> marry everyone in the game. Are we even gonna have it so you can cheat on people? <laughs> My goodness. Man, but rap it, rapping seems to not be working. Yeah, kind of odd. Is it always been that way? And is that Carol Sanders? <laughs> so which plugin needs to work? We'll sort it out, guys. We'll we'll try and figure out a solution to this problem. But yeah, the word I think it's word rap cheese. I must have accidentally turned it off. So we'll put it back on, and it should be fixed. And it is. His name isn't Colonel Sanders though. It's Colonel Blunders. <laughs> I made him myself. Well, I did do him in the generator, but I, I had to edit him a lot to make him actually look like him. It's great that you can tell it's him. I'm going to have to put up a message saying... um, Because there was a... We did this before. The, you know there's a game out? I think it's a dating simulator with Colonel Sanders. Is it a new game that's recently come out? You know the weird thing? We did this before that game even existed. That game copied us. <laughs> But, you know, we were having a discussion that stream about how I'm going to be sued for copyright for having Colonel Sanders in my game. So I changed his name to Colonel Blunders. So, um, but, you know, there's already a game out with him in it. Aren't they getting sued? <laughs> Need my chicken. Oh, yeah, my wife played it. It's sponsored by KFC. It's actually, oh, right. So it is actually a game response by Cassis they won't get sued fair enough but what we're gonna have to do because in a way Raindrop Chronicles is gonna have its parody moments for sure um for, you know it's a community game people are gonna probably want to add NPCs based on other fictional characters just for jokes um so we're probably gonna have to put some message saying any characters you know it's purely a coincidence and all that and we i think some games write a message to like avoid themselves getting sued but you know i don't see why i get sued i know nothing about copyright laws how does it all work but yeah there's we, the reason we did it is because there's a chicken here that's why <laughs> we'll probably have to do a quest about the chicken maybe Okay, so I'm not bothered about the word wrap bug because that'll be an easy fix. I'm more bothered about this journal problem. The fact that we have to start a new game to get all the objectives to show up can't be real. Maybe the, there must be an easy way to do this. I'm going to test something now, actually. I'm just going to check the word wrap thing. Maybe that'll work now. I've changed some settings so that might work. Um, as for the quest journal, hmm. Yeah, with a disclaimer, we'll put something like that up for sure. Chicken quest, yeah. Colonel Blunder sent you on a quest to take his chicken recipe to another continent. <laughs> And now that'll be sitting in the side quest section for a long time because we won't be going to a continent yet, a new continent yet. But at some point we will. We'll be having, exploring every corner of the map in this game. The Rose Rangers need fried chicken for their <laughs> weekly meeting. Chicken's good, but I have to not have bone in my chicken. Fiona's monster. <laughs> Mostly we just got gossip about the village stuff like Nigel's like a backbone. <laughs> yeah, Nigel's the, you know, the scaredy cat of the village. He, yeah, he'll be, he'll be an interesting character to develop, he will. Maybe the, who knows how that character arc could end. 
Maybe we could have some twists in the story. I quite like that, some shockers. Nigel is actually secretly the mastermind. It's all just an act that he's a nervous wreck. No one no one would see that coming. Anyway, um Oh, I don't know what to do about this question or thing. Seriously, it, it's a Yanfly plugin. You'd think it, it would be amazing and it wouldn't do this. <laughs> sort it out, Yanfly. I love you really. Because uh, we've got to thank that, that person for all these awesome plugins after all. But damn, I don't want bugs, please. <laughs> Nigel sold out with the village years ago. He's nervous because he's afraid someone will find out. Oh my goodness. There's going to be a story with him, for sure. And it'll be really fun to, as a community to vote on what it could be. Because we'll probably do a community poll for that. And whoever gets the most votes will be where it goes. Exciting times. Exciting times, guys. We haven't really done a lot of polls lately. And that's because of the nature of the streams recently haven't allowed for that because we've been focused we haven't really been focusing on that kind of thing but when it's when we start getting to side quests and ca uh, character development and how the side quests are gonna go we're gonna have all sorts of twists and turns in them so that will be an opportunity for lots of character development ideas and having lots of voting on polls and stuff he thought he would inherit it when his parents died, but his sister got it instead. Yeah. So keep your ideas in mind, guys, because that will be a very something coming up. We'll be doing a lot of lot of lot of that. So get your thinking caps on for Nigel. But the the, the next poll we're probably gonna have is the one with Rose. Like, how will she escape the sacrifice? I mean, ideally, we we'd still like to keep her in our party so she doesn't like separate from the hero but it doesn't necessarily have to be the case because this is going to be the kind of game where the playable characters might sometimes go their own way away from the hero for a while but then meet later on in the journey so you the playable characters don't have to necessarily be stuck to the custom character for the whole entire game. Like just because Rose has joined the party now, it doesn't mean she has to be with us until the end of the game, like in how in the Final Fantasy game. She can if the story takes her elsewhere, she can be out the party for a bit and we can meet her again later. But you know, she can stay with us still a bit longer if if necessary and get involved in some quests in, in Lakefall as well she might be with us while we do them but she might also not be who knows it's whatever ends up winning the poll I'm, i'll be really excited to see what ideas we could have for what happens and how rose gets out of this predicament um because one thing we do know is that she's not going to die she isn't going to get sacrificed rose is not dying she's going nowhere Hi True Baldy, how's it going today? It's wonderful to see you. How are you all doing? We're having a we're having a right old ramble, aren't we? Chat. We're rambling on about ideas. How are you doing, True Baldy? Can can make it so that the player thinks they are dead but comes back in a surprise twist at a crucial moment. See, that's another option as well, cheese. It could have so be that it seems that Rose did get sacrificed by the monster and the player believes she's dead, but later on in episode one she might come back, or maybe even in episode two. We don't know. She could come back at any time in a twist. That's an option too, but like, you know, because we're all gonna be doing all this voting on a poll and I'm sure there's gonna be loads of ideas and routes of of where we're gonna go with Rose in this storyline. So it's whatever ends up winning and gets the most votes, it's gonna be super exciting to see what tops the poll. Um I'll I'll have my own idea as well, I'm sure, when we get to that point. So we'll have to see what gets it and um it's gonna be exciting. This day was a bit stressful. My boss was in the office the whole day, so I couldn't watch your stream at work. Scandalous. Oh, no. How dare they? How dare the boss be there? I hope it was a fun day, though. I, I've never liked my boss 
st stalking me at work like sometimes they're like staring at your screen looking at what you're doing it makes me paranoid don't like that when i when i get a job somewhere um you know because i'll probably have to start finding work at some point next year but just so you know guys it's not gonna disrupt raindrop chronicles if i have to get a job um raindrop chronicles will carry on i'll be just i'll just be doing it in the evenings instead of the afternoon if i'm at work if you know what i mean or i might do it some weekends if 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 i'm at work i'll do it on a weekend instead but i'll still be keeping up with the project but let's not think about that yet that's that's in the future um i intend to get episode one released before applying for any jobs or anything like that for sure episode one is gonna be priority for me um but yeah there's no what there's no way i'd want to have a boss staring at me <laughs> oh, i don't like that you were able to get a lot of work done at least or were you be too busy attending to the boss i actually got a bit of work done but i'm an expert on looking busy without being busy you, you can do it, True Baldy. I'm sure your boss loves you. I have no doubt. <laughs> the stream is so laggy for me. Why? Why? Oh, is it? Is it okay for the rest of you? Or is this a problem on my end? Let me know, guys. I want to make sure the stream's okay. Maybe it's Twitch's fault. Maybe maybe it's true on True Baldy's end. Fine for me. Okay. Maybe give it a refresh, True Baldy. Is your internet going okay? Usually finish everything super fast and slack off the rest of the time. <laughs> yeah. I work so paid and little to do. It's like, yeah, do your, do your own job. I agree. <laughs> it's because I took your bits, made all, Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, True Baldy, but Elite just picked you to the number one spot. <laughs> you were all joint first, but then Elite decided to give 20 bits to me. I think it's a problem on my end. I tried. Oh no, how dare it? I hope you can get it fixed, True Baldy. There's nothing worse than stream lag. Nothing worse. Um, okay, so we've been rambling on a bit about potential future storylines. Uh, I just I like to do that sometimes just to get you guys excited for what's coming up in streams. Um, just so you know we'll probably i'll probably be planning to do the rose sacrifice part of the story um as soon as we've done all the skills once we've done the warrior and the hunter and vampire skills um the early skills that is we won't be planning them all till level 50 or anything but the, the very early skills that probably up to level five or so um once we've done them for those and the enemy skills of the everbloom forest we'll be at a point where the next thing we have to do is the story so i'm probably going to dedicate next week to skills like this if this week's been about ui so next week we'll have it be more about skills so after next week we might be there we might be ready to start the story after next week so at the start of november i mean is it still october next week it is it's the last week of october next week so um the first week of november then or you know either the first or second week in november we'll probably be doing the rose sacrifice part of the story so um, have a little think about um, and ideas for that and obviously if you've got no ideas that's fine too just make sure you vote on the poll when we when we get the ideas up that's all if we want it we want the true winner to be wh whoever to tops the poll gets the most votes will be the deserved winner um, oh my tomorrow is stream 50 I only just realized it is and this is why I want the website working because like I says I've been having problems with the host so hopefully that gets fixed so it's ready for tomorrow and yeah the, there won't be anything on the website but it'll be nice to say that it's there and that we've actually got a website so that'll be that'll be what we celebrate tomorrow all going well i'm gonna burp <laughs> i keep wanting to burp i'm allergic to ibs it gives me the burps i don't know why i want to burp it's not like i've been eating or drinking anything it's very strange Seeing my computer is doing funny stuff in the background wasn't even my internet, really? Oh my goodness, True Baldy. Your, your computer is misbehaving. 
Okay, guys, so we have a little issue with our quest objectives not refreshing. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Is there there's something I want to check? There should be a plugin command somewhere here. Um, you can see I'm looking at it right here. I don't know if this would solve it. So much text, I can't find what I'm after. No, I don't think it's, it's here. I thought there was a plugin command called refresh um, window or refresh quests or something, but it seems it must be part of the map quest plugin, not the quest journal. Event object, doubt we know which is variable. See, I think that's that might be the one, so I'm gonna just click yes and test that. But the problem is, I can't use that because it lags. It, it might not even, we'll say, we'll see if this works. Oh, you're getting there, true ball day in the top 130 nearly. No, that hasn't worked. For some reason, when I do enable that option in the plugin, it creates terrible lag in the game. You can, be can barely move the character, so I have to disable it because of that reason. It does get rid of the black text bug, um, which is great, but causes lag. So I'm going to have to find another way around the text, black text bug. And I have an idea, but it's just going to be a little bit time consuming to get it all working and tested. Mm -hmm. Um, but we need, I, I, I want to figure out why it's not updating in general. Oops, I accidentally crossed off RPG Maker like a big silly. It's a good job we saved it. <laughs> Let's go back on this screen. You could read our Victorian novels to me any day. Hi, just another guy. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I've been told I should wear all, um, wear audio books. No, read audio books is what I was meant to say. You don't wear audio books, you read them. But yes, I, I have um, a lovable British accent. That is my new trademark. What's up, Set Sierra? Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, so let's let's just turn off that silly thing that lags the game. We're very lucky though at the, at the moment. We are basically at the start of the game anyway, so. For things like this issue we're having, it's not the end of the world if we have to start from the beginning, but it's just something that's unnecessary, especially as we get like get get further through the game. Um, it's not, you know, I'm I'm a bit I'm hoping that there's a way around it, a better solution. Um, but mm, there was a there was something I needed to do. Yeah, the lake fall wasn't in the proper text, so that's because it was the wrong window. PNG. Let's get Photoshop open. Right, so I'm gonna have to open this because I can't find it. Uh, quest window, that's it. This is um, this is the window I need to change the colour of. Because you you can't just use any colour in RPG Maker for for the UI. You have to use one of these colours. So. We don't want Lakefall to be lilac, we want it to be light green. That's Lakefall's colour. Let's save that. Hi, hi Cornelius, how are you doing? It's good to see you. The glasses definitely give you pressure to someone who can read, maybe. I, I mean, 
I say things wrong sometimes, like I said, I should wear an audio book instead of I should read an audio book. So I'm not sure if I can if I can say things properly, but you know, as long as uh, it could be worse, I guess. <laughs> been good, you? I've been good, Sierra. Having a decent day. I hope you are too. You got a lovely accent, thank you. Appreciate that. Ariel Bolt or italic um but i don't know what my favorite font is actually i don't know comic sans not really anyway guys i'm gonna brb for a sec i'll be back in a couple of minutes um and then we will do some more stuffs thanks for hanging out and talk to the monsters yourself if you'd like to see you soon Okay, I am back. Hello. So everyone's been talking about my accent today. I feel I feel like it's such a thing that's mentioned now that um, it's very necessary to make it my thing. So what I did was this. <laughs> I am boasting about my accent. Can you believe that? There we go. It was necessary. The world has to know. Welcome back. Thank you, Azrael. Give some bitch shows appreciation to the streamer. I'm number one in this channel, 100% from Ad Bits. Yeah, I used to have a viewer that did the same thing, Khalid, in my first year of streaming, and in the end, they ended up like with like 20k bits so all together you see you can really grind those ads if you're dedicated enough i appreciate you doing that though elite it's very kind of you no bias if it's true yeah i've got such a big head now guys after all your compliments about my accent so it's your own fault half the time i've the screen minimized and listening to you so it's fair boasting yeah it's, it, as long as it's true right it, it, it's not a lie <laughs> damn right it's a love of accent thank you you know it's got to be said I, you know you have to kind of sell yourself sometimes i'm thinking how can i how can i sell myself like on my twitch bio what can i say about me that sets me apart from others and it's my accent <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's the first thing I thought. I thought, well, everybody likes my accent, so I guess I'll, I'll put that in. Yeah, half the time I'm working and listening on the background. Yay! And we do we do have closed captions on the stream now as well. So um, for those that have to have me muted at work because they've got strict bosses, there's always the closed captions option. How deep the accent is a beautiful one. Oh, thank you, Sana. Yeah, we are talking about my accent. Everybody loves it. Um, and I'm very, I very, I appreciate it because before I started streaming, before I became a streamer, that was the one thing that held me back. I always thought, well, why do people don't like my voice? Because, but it worked out great. Everyone does love it. And welcome to the stream, Sonna. Hope you're doing well and having a wonderful day. Okay, so where were we, chat? What were we doing? Let's get our RPG makeup. Yeah, we were having a bit of a bug with the quest, um, the quest uh, journal plugin we've got, which is unfortunate and not what we want at the moment because we've got quite a few bits and bobs to do today. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to have to start a new game, but instead of making Butt as my custom hero, I'm going to make Jesus again, obviously. So let's make Jesus again. But was a mistake that will never be repeated and for those that don't know what I'm talking about I just made a custom hero in our game and called him Butt and usually I, I, I have Jesus as my custom hero so we're going to do Jesus again I mean, I, I personally think Jesus is brown hair. What do you guys think? Brown or black hair? When did you last cut your hair? Never. Why, hello there. Welcome back, Pepper. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, our Jesus is a warrior. Jesus. Interesting. Oh my god, did Jesus emote? How wonderful. <laughs> Do indeed. How's your day been? It's been pretty good, Pepper. We did, have we having a fun stream? We've had some fun chats today, haven't we? Hope hope uh, uh your dad's been treating you well as well. It's already Wednesday and it's our last stream of the week tomorrow but it's also stream 50. Have we sorted out the word wrap? Yes, 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 it's worked. So the text comes up properly now. Carol's an absolute babe of a character so who hadn't who hadn't met carol before until that scene and are you impressed has carol impressed you all um what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to save the game here just in case we get any more bugs with the journal and it might be if we've already accepted the quest we might not be able to go back so it's better to save it now um and i'm gonna save it there See, if you look, we got a few NPCs around like four. We've got this lady here. We haven't set up her box up properly yet, but she's there. We've got Colonel Blunders. We've got a few folk in the tavern. Two sisters and the, uh, well, he he's like the lady man of the village. He is this one here. He He's, he's dating both the sisters, but they don't know that, so... We've got a bit of backstory with the characters, but it's quite minimal at the moment. We need to flesh them out even more, and we're definitely going to have an opportunity for that um, once once we get back to the village after we've we killed the first boss. Yeah, 
yeah, I want to change Nigel's icon up to the updated quest icon as well and see how that actually looks. There are a few little things I need to alter about this particular cutscene as well. I don't want it to zoom out. For example, I want it to say, st stay zoomed in until we leave. Maybe. I'll say. I need to have a mess around with things and see how I like it. And if you look closer, you can probably see there's like a dark blue shadow behind the, the quest text. And I want to change that to grey. Because it looks a bit, it doesn't really look good against the black background. Grey will look, look a bit better. Um, but it's all updated. Go to the Bloom Forest, go to the lake near the cabin. Find Fiona Booker to re return to. One thing I'm wondering about this quest log, and I don't know if it's possible, so I don't want to get my hopes up. But I wonder if there's a way to only show them one at a time the objectives and update them when each one's been completed because the problem with it like this is that we're seeing spoilers <laughs> it says return to Lakefall and tell Nigel Buckington that his sister said we're not meant to know that piece of information yet guys that's a spoiler uh, so ideally what I want would love to do is for objectives 2, 3 and 4 to be not there, to be hidden and um, I only show the first one and every time we complete one it updates it with the next if you know what I mean. I, I think, is that really what most games do with their quest logs? I need to do a bit of research again to remind myself how these games do it. I want to see how Morrowind do it now. Because I've been told Morrowind's the quest log I should look at for a reference. So we'll see how they do it. Sassy Barrel, she's great isn't she Sona? She's going to be a romanceable option in the game. She's that Japanese word. What's it? What's it called? Sundaya. I, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but what it means is when somebody's very cold initially and very angry and hostile, um, a female character, but eventually they soften as they get to know you. So that's basically Carol the Barrel summed up. She's a Sundaya. I really don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, yeah, the dark blue is really lost on the black. I actually thought it looked good with the zoom in. Yeah, the zoom in is something we'll be doing in important scenes, like cut scenes and important conversations that last longer than one line. Um, we'll be we'll have a zoom in thing going on, and the um, basically we we keep like the smaller like it zoomed out when we're on the map walking, just because we can see where we're going a bit better then. But um, but yeah, who knows? Maybe we should keep it zoomed in forever. But I don't know if that's possible or whether it would make the game buggy or whether we would be allowed to have it like that. I guess it's just a subjective opinion. Whether some people might want it like it zoomed out, others might prefer the zoomed in look. And it's that's the one thing with game design. You can't kind of can't please the whole world. Everybody's gonna have a sort of look that prefer and I suppose we have to just go with what works best. I said it right, did I? Might be a version of the Japanese oh and I can't pronounce that at all. <laughs> okay, so hmm. We're gonna have to think how we're gonna handle this uh this quest log. Cause I don't want spoilers. We, we don't want these visible so I'm going to do a bit of research to see what we can do but this this is our updated quest description for this now with this is our base information and um, that we've got but things might change I'm, I'm going to do a bit of research into how games like Morrowind and WoW and and stuff do their journals and Final Fantasy 11 was another um, I'm, but I'm, right, I'm writing it in first person anyway. I think that works for our custom hero. Thank you for the follow, Hassan. I appreciate that. Hope you had a good day. 
um, asked me to find his little sister. She went to the Everdeen Rice to pick some flowers. She's only 12 years old. I shall go there and look for her. Um, yeah, we haven't done the rewards yet. That'll be for a future stream when we've thought of items. Um, okay, so let's see what we can do and if we can hide any objectives, if that's even possible. I really hope it is because if it isn't, we're going to have to reword things so that we don't give spoilers. Um, almost 400 congrats Val that's frigging awesome you are a pro lurker and number 85 as well on the board that is something basically two faces home a hey, is the truthful one towards Clive's family and tetame is the outwards one sort of like the british stiff upper lip yeah so that's what carol is she she comes across as the stiff upper lip type but she's not she she's she's soft and she she's she's she but she needs to get to know you first typical sunday a character basically nine thousand oh my goodness is there a, who is there anybody in the stream that has over nine thousand let's have a peek one person <laughs> Oh my goodness, Tetsu Rose is number two now. Tetsu Rose is going to be getting over 9,000 too. I need to get up and start getting ready for my appointment. I only have 30 minutes. Oh no, not an appointment. What what appointment have you got, Val? You don't have to tell us if it's a secret, but I hope it goes well. Is it Jaffa cake, a cake or a biscuit? I see it as a biscuit personally. What do you guys see it as? I casually only get to watch Tuesday and Thursday. Well, I super appreciate you coming whenever you can, Val. I mean, whenever whenever you, you can. I mean, no pressure at all. We do, I mean, don't forget we upload, I upload the VODs on YouTube. Um, every single stream goes up on there. So if you really want to see what we've done and you've missed out, then everything's going up on there anyway. So uh, just so you know, guys. Oh, it's a meme from Dragon Ball, yeah. I would not get the reference. I only watched a few episodes. I think I watched the first 10 episodes. It's an anime with so many episodes. Oh my goodness, thank you for the follow, just another guy. Appreciate that. I heard the alert. It was like really, really quiet though. But I kind of hit her. I've got to turn up the volume on those alerts. Okay. Um, I'm going to have a peek in, in our plugin. Oh, the internet happened. Yeah. The meme thing, I'm very, very behind with a lot of meme knowledge. <laughs> I'm not very up on it. Uh, right, so, quest journal. Okay, we could do it like this maybe. So I'm gonna show you guys one set. It says using a plugin command to make them appear. So maybe we should do that. Maybe we just we just make the first one visible for now instead of all four and then do it manually when we get to the right point, make them maybe that'll work so we need to find out what that plugin is first of all I'm hungry and this is what I do when I'm hungry who knows what these are is it is it just a British chocolate or is it is it available in other countries too I'm naughty having this before dinner <laughs> Poison? You think this is poison? I'd be dead. It's a chocolate stream now. 
Oh no, what are you, Val? Oh my goodness, what do, what's your favourite uh, snack then, Val? What do you have instead of chocolate? Never seen it before? They're good. They're very good. But all chocolate's good. Don't know much of anything? Oh no. I, I think I'm a greedy one sometimes. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without my nice snacks. Pig skins. You eat pig skin? We go to London and try it? Yeah. You guys should come and have some British chocolate. What is the best chocolate in your country? Sierra and Kung. I want to. I want to know what's out there for you guys. Okay, so what is this plugin command then? Can I do a search thing? Gay. Unfortunately, I can't do a search. So it's going to take me a while to find out what command I need to use but I'll get there visible objectives that's it um, this is a list of subjects that will be visible by default when the when the quest is added to the game's quest journal each number entry there refers to objective ID and in the objective list plugin command yeah I want the plugin Here we go. Where is it? Can't see any plugin sign objective. Oh, here. Um, replace extra plugin objective of. We want to make objective appear, that's the plugin we're after. Um, not complete or... F oh, here. Here we go. Replace X request ID, you are sure to objective or place Y values with presenting new you wish to make visible hidden. Quest can show multiple objective as one. So this is exactly what we need. And this will fix our problem. So we're only going to have the first objective show, of course, when we talk to Nigel. He'll trigger the quest, but only objective one will show. And then objective two was... Um, let's have a look at my notes. Go to the lake near the cabin in Everbloom Forest is our second objective. So when we get here is when um, it'll trigger the next one. So maybe it should be here. Just before the screen fades in is when we get this plugin command working. We'll have to test this and see if it works. So quest one, show objective two. That should be it. I really hope that it's as simple as that. And if it is, I will rejoice because then we'll have solved the problem. You always get problems in games, but there's just a problem daily. It's, it's quite fun really trying to work it out and it's a, certainly very uh, awesome of a feeling when you see it working. Lint is the one of the better ones. Chocolate in Sweden is too high on sugar. I prefer Finnish Phaser or Japanese Meiji chocolate. Better quality and lower sugar. But Lint is a good one. That forest calls for your soul. You like the forest. It's, it's our first place we've designed. I'm very proud of it. And I love lint chocolate. That is actually one of my top ones. I do think European chocolate is very good, I have to say. Okay, so, so at the moment we currently have a plugin command to show objective two of quest one as soon as we get to this point, this event here. So once it transitions to this scene, it should update the quest and we're going to see. We're going to test it now and see if it works. So fingers crossed. I 
I miss seeing our little characters walking across. I feel like I haven't had that screen on much today. You know what I might do? I might put it on this screen as well, but when I do a test play, I might hide it. We'll see. Um, back to Lakeville. I'm currently using a dash and I do that when I want to get through areas quickly but this is the normal walking speed. I don't know if I'm going to enable dash when in the actual game um, but I might have it so there's a sort of sprint thing people can do, we'll see. Also the dialogue box needs to be higher above Nigel's head it's kind of too low at the moment I like to set it up so the box is, is just above them so that's just a little bug I have to fix as well you know what like since it got mentioned that you guys like the zoom in I'm, I'm tempted to see how the entire game looks zoomed in but um, we'll see. It's just it's just something I'm considering for now because um, obviously between now and episodes one's release, there will we will like do a lot of alterations to make sure it looks perfect. I mean, I, I'm quite happy with how it looks now, but who knows? Things things do generally change slightly to what to what the what we prefer. Um, I mean, for example, that quest icon that was above Nigel's head, I've just updated that exclamation mark to another to another icon that I think looks better. What the hell? Go to the Bloom Forest. Why are all the objectives still there? Oh, no. Nigel, what have you done? Why have you given me four objectives? I changed it. How dare you? And yeah, I must remember to change that blue shadow as well. It is definitely jarring bit jarring to the eye so that didn't work Does, is there something I didn't do loss oh I am a I am a big silly Billy I did the wrong quest that's why <laughs> I did quest two instead of quest one um, so that should work now let's try again <laughs> Copyright and that Jesus looking character. You can't even impersonate Jesus. Oh, yes, he's a brilliant Jesus, and don't you deny it. Just look at him. Just just look at that beard for a start. He's just like Jesus. <laughs> you guys can create whoever you want in you as a custom character. I wanna I wanna see your custom characters very badly. <laughs> I'm so tempted to release a demo at some point, but I, I can't promise it. We might just go straight to episode one and not have any demo, but we'll see. Because at the same time, I don't want to hold up development, and if I have to like release a demo, it might slow things down a bit. We'll see. If there was going to be a demo, it would literally just be some of the Everbloom Forest storyline, probably up to where uh, the sacrifice of Rose. That'd be like a, a good demo section, I'd say. You better work, quest log. I think it's worked. But yeah, that, that cutscene's a bit messy with the dialogue boxes in the wrong bias, and I don't like. I think the zoom out's a little bit. a bit jarring so I've, i'm gonna make a few edits to that but it looks like it's uh the quest in journals doing its job so all is good we're only seeing the first objective now which is go to the everbloom forest oh okay I've, I've got to do something i've done something wrong so i'm going to save the game again um i put i actually put the quest objective in the wrong place i need to put it when i leave here 
go save that there. So I, read, I did put it here in winding way, but it's objective three that I need to show at this point, not objective two, got it wrong. But I do need to complete objective two. So I've got to add that. I need to check what that plugin command actually is. Okay, quest X complete objective Y, that's it. So what we've got to do is um, get another plugin command up. Saying quest one, complete objective two. So we've got complete objective two and show objective three. And that should work perfectly hopefully but we've got to also do some setup here as well um lakefall when we when we cross the bridge and we get to the everbloom forest um quest one complete objective one because we're in the everbloom forest now but we've got to go to yeah so let's see how this looks Let's test it. I'm, I'm confident this will work fine. Your own personal Jesus, someone to your prayers, someone who cares. It was the first one that popped into my head, Jesus. I thought, hmm, who's my custom hero going to be? I can't have Rose because there's already a Rose in the game. So, oh no, we have the black textbook. So I wonder why we get in this random black textbook it always seems to be when i load a save game i have noticed that pattern it's always when i load a save game so i wonder if there's something i can do to prevent that okay so We'll see if this changes, fingers crossed. Okay. It's work, but there's something wrong with it. And I, I still, hang on, let's, let's check the quest. Okay. So it's completed objective one, it's gone green, which, so that's worked. But ideally, I want that to still be on the quest overlay. I don't want that to disappear. So, um, we'll see if we can get it to stay up, really. So, I want it to look how exact, exactly how it looks in this journal. Where it's got the completed one and it's also got the... Also, I think I want to make that green orb a little bit darker. It might look a bit better if it was a touch darker. It's it's doing its job, working. Love the telling location names. They certainly give a good pointer to what to expect from the area. Yeah, Everbloom, flowers. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Master Emerald! Thank you so much for the raid! Thank you for coming along. How is your stream, Master Emerald? Were you doing game dev today or were you doing art? Let's see. Art! You doing Inktober today? Have you caught up? Let us know what, what artwork you was working on, Master Emerald. And hi, Stephen! How are you doing? Or Steepan? 
Is it Stepan or Steven? Welcome to the stream. It's good to meet you. I like your cute emotes. Okay, um, I'm just going to have a little mess about in this plugin, this quest journal one, and try and figure out why it has disappeared. Because I don't want the completed quest to disappear. Maybe there's a setting somewhere for that to make them not disappear. Or maybe there's something a little bit more complex you've got to do. Um, Hello, it's working on a Vivi painting. Oh my goodness, I want to see it. I want to see it. I love Vivi. Lakefall, rivers, streams and wonderful forest lakes. Yeah, I, that's something we definitely want to... I want to make sure we do that. Like the places, it all connects to what the area is about. I want it to be relevant for sure. And hopefully we can carry on that theme when we think of future areas be super cool i'm really excited already to create the next area of the game even though we are a while off that yeah i really want to make sure everbloom forest and lake fall is really fleshed out before we even consider ending this part of the game i want to burp again <laughs> set in an area with hills and woods yeah thank you sierra uh okay so well, I'm having a tiny couple of bugs today, so I'm like doing a, a bit of fixing. But all, it's gone well so far. We fixed the first half of the problem. Um, but there's still a, a minor issue I'm trying to solve. But once this issue's fixed, we really, everything's going wonderfully and smoothly and as it should. So I don't. So what I'm what I'm looking for is completed uh, objectives don't disappear. If there's something at all that indicates that, I don't think there is here. But it might be something link linked to the actual map overlay plugin rather than the quest journal because it's still in the quest journal. So I'm going to look at actually instead look at the map window plugin. If currently active quest is completed, the window will set next available uncompleted quest. Well, yeah, that's fine. Update quest window when adding a new quest. This will set the newest active quest to what was just added. That's fine too. Change objectives. Update window when quest objectives have been changed well yeah i want it to do that but i don't want it to get rid of the completed objective i want that to stay up so i'm actually gonna say no for now and see what it does but i don't know if that's gonna actually do the job We'll soon find out. Hey, that we weren't meant to go here. <laughs> there, lake full. I really want a custom loading screen very badly. 
Okay, so it did what I thought it'd do. It didn't update it. It is meant to update, but it just doesn't update how I want it to update. We'll get it. We'll figure it out. There's always a way. Always. Sometimes it can be well hidden. Sometimes it can be obvious. But not always. Update window when quest objective command. So that's how we want it to be. Liquid! How are you doing, Liquid? It's good to see you. You have got yourself my bats, Liquid. What's going on? I didn't know you had my bats. How are you doing, Liquid? I hope you're having an awesome day. Doing all right? Good to hear. I am fixing bugs at the moment. It's just a really tiny little bug, but once it's done, um, I'll be really happy and everything will be working because it should then. Um, I'm going to have a read of this. Maybe this will tell me. Hmm. I'm going to read what it says about the actual plugin command here. Maybe I've got to actually write it down differently. I put a photo with the painting into the creative channel on your Discord. I'm going to look right now. I'm going to have a peep right now where my stem because I really want to see this Vivi. Oh, he's so cute. That's so cool. It's, it's, is it part of your ring, Tariba? But yeah, Vivi Vi is easily one of the best characters. We even have him as a, as a bit badge in this channel. <laughs> awesome. Give it, give it some hearts and love. This is my favourite heart. <laughs> I'm glad I did that creative channel. Don't regret it. Hey guys, look, that's my favorite Pokemon. Do you approve? There's this new, there's this Fred going around. Post yourself with your part with your favorite Pokemon. I wanted to join in. <laughs> My God, that eye is scary, Liquid. I'm gonna have nightmares now. Liquid has got all the emotes today. Look at that cute hip eye. Not Inktober, I was in the mood for watercolours. Oh, okay, cool, that's awesome. I think Inktober's going okay, though, now. Somebody in here earlier was, is doing Devtober. There's so many Tobers, it's it's quite funny. And then next month, it's NaNoWriMo. Hi, Dream Only, how are you doing? It's good to see you. You were getting there, Dream Only. 21 raindrops isn't too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm feeling sleepy and silly right now. Where are you? When you're sleepy, do you get silly liquid? Is that what happens when you're sleepy? <laughs> Silly's good though. I'm silly as well. I'm I can be a silly one. I'd say innocent and silly are two words that sum me up quite well. What would you guys say? What word sums me up? I've decided what I'm going to be doing for Nano now. Oh, what are you going to do? Are we allowed to know, Master Emerald? Sometimes, sometimes I'm cranky. You've never been cranky here though, Liquid, have you? Kind of. Oh, thank you, Kung. <laughs> I'm hungry. Why am I so hungry? Probably because it's my dinner soon. I always get hungry at this time. I shouldn't be surprised. I should be eating chocolate. I should be eating something else. Like watermelon. Something sensible. <laughs> Lovable. Yeah, well, my bio now has that word in it. So, people who don't know me might look, click on my... Twitter and see that I've put that I'm lovable on there and they'll be like 
That Rose Rainbird really thinks highly of herself, doesn't she? <laughs> she thinks really highly of herself, because look. <laughs> I'll put that on love <laughs> Genuine patient and understanding. Oh, thank you. You guys are saying all the nice things. Charming. Oh, thank you, Liquid. I've never actually thought of myself as charming, so that's a nice one to hear. Adorkable. I'm adorkable, am I? Great. That's a good word. I agree. I'm adorkable. So, back to the RPG making. We are going to fix this bug before the end of stream, and I want to at least get the new quest icons I've done tested as well before the end of stream. Um, I'm not sure what tomorrow's stream is going to be. It's probably going to be a celebration of the website launch going well. So maybe it'll be a sort of website launch celebration. <laughs> but um, we'll see because I can't promise it yet. It depends if my hosts behave themselves and do as they're told. Because <laughs> they've been very... I mean, Dream Host is meant to be a good website host, but I'm not very... I wouldn't say I'm very impressed at the moment because it's been a bit... The setup's been a little bit, it's not been smooth, let's just say. But I, I get ahead of myself. The customer service hasn't been too bad. They have been responsive to my emails at least. Best word ever, yay. Gonna be writing a bunch of short slice of life mystery stories set in the same world. Great, I want like I want those put in my creative work channel. Put a link to your nano remo in our creative channel when you do it, Mast Emerald. And that goes for anyone else that's doing nano remo as well. Um I mean I'm not doing it, I've never done it before. I've always wanted to, but it's getting the time because you have to dedicate a month to nothing but nano remo. Really, having other projects on the go while doing Nano Rimo would be a lot to take. But one day, I will, one year I might attempt it. Whenever life goes a bit quieter. Uh, right, so I was looking for the commands. It's, there's just so much text here, it's hard to find out everything sometimes. Um... Or you can modify the quest descriptions, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I think this was what it was. Quest X object complete objective. Right. Let's read this and see if there's anything we can do. It takes me two hours a day to keep up, but I'm practice. How many years have you done Nano Rimo for, Master Emerald? Replace X with a quest ID you wish to alter objective of replace X with what I really Yep. Using complete will mark the objective as completed. Using fail will mark, yeah. Using normalize will set to neither complete or fail. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. But why do you why do you hide it from the map overlay? It seems like it doesn't tell me here, unfortunately. Um, it's going to be part of this map quest plugin, isn't it? It's got to be. Okay, I'm going to just put this on the side soon if we're not going to solve it. Because there's a couple of other stuff I want to do before the end of the stream. But I'm just going to give this a quick read through. Evil face, thank you for the follow. Oh no, you're not really evil though, are you? I'm sure you're a lovely person, evil face. Hope you're doing well and having a good day. Appreciate the follow. I am very evil. You'd never be evil, Val. 
fellow UK person I am indeed. My accent certainly gives me away. There's no hiding where I'm from. Also out of time, so have a great rest of the stream. Val, I hope your appointment goes well. Thank you for hanging out and being a pro lurker. Appreciate you for all the support. Spell equal backwards and see what he, she is all about. Evil backwards is live, isn't it? Very interesting when you see some words backwards, I have to say. What's rose backwards? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Python. How are you doing? Welcome. Don't know it's complete due to chaos, though. Been doing nano for eight years. Oh my goodness. Well, it's it's. I think it's really awesome that people even do it. They don't need to complete it. Just doing it's awesome enough. That's that's really pro skills, Master Emerald. Eight years. Okay, so. I've been able to fix this bug, but I honestly, maybe it's not possible. It's probably possible, but it might just be more difficult than I hope it to be. I might actually have to go in the JS code, open Notepad Plus or something, and figure something out in there. Um, Okay, so that's something I'm going to have to go back to because it seems like it's not an easily solvable one. Um, but we'll figure it out. But first I want to get our icons put on the map. So, Nigel, where are you Nigel? You're in the inn. So he's currently got the old quest above his name. Uh, which is... Icon and event 12, but you need, that needs to be changed to 330, I think. Pardon me! And that should update you with the new one. Let's have a peek. Oh, hang on first, there's something else. And that's, oh, when it's in progress. So that needs to be updated to, to this one here. Where is it? To remind ourselves. So this one. So that's 320, that, I mean 330, that would be 332. Ying Yan, welcome to the Discord. I'll give you a welcome. And if anybody else wants to join our Discord, that's where we all hang out between streams. Whereabouts in the UK are you from? I'm from the middle. The middle, not the north, not the south, the middle. What about you, uh, evil face? Uh. Three hundred and thirty-two. So this should update it, and I'm not sure how it's going to look. It might look. It might need a little bit of editing if it doesn't stand out enough on the map. We'll say. Oh, cool! Just be careful about giving your actual location because. You can get stalkers, you know, so just be careful. I, I never reveal my actual city or anywhere close, just in case. I mean, even viewers can get... I mean, streamers can get stalked, but even viewers can get stalked too. So, just uh, just be careful there. Rose is from the posh bit. <laughs> the posh bit. Um, Asriel thinks I'm super posh. He 
doesn't look too bad. I think I'm still going to edit it a bit though, because it, um, just so it looks a bit more clear. But I'm going to test out the game look zoomed in twice anyway. Um, just to, just to, for an experiment to see how that looks. Uh, and also, what else do we have to do? So, Photoshop. Um, we've got that's for main quest that's for side quest that are new and these are ones for in progress I might I might change them to more of a gray scale let's just see how they look in gray scale Because that might be better, but I'll I'll see. I don't know. The blue's okay. It it works with um the colour scheme we've got for Raindrop Chronicles, and it's quite similar to grey anyway. So I might keep it. Grew up in Glasgow, five years in London, and now ten years in Yorkshire. Compared to me, you are posh, Rose. <laughs> I'm posh. Rose is from me. The internet. Yeah, that's where I live. The internet. The bloody rainy bit. The liquid is right. It's a very secret area. Have a good rest of your stream and day. Thank you, Master Emerald. And hope the rest of Inktober goes well. And good luck with Nana Rimo as well. You're going to kick butt. The rainy bit. Hello. Well, all of England is rainy though, isn't it? But only the special... The special part where vampires live rains actual blood. One sec, guys. Just checking something quick. Okay, I'm back. Type in Val, I'm now worries it happens. I, I do type in Val's all the time. But have an awesome day. I appreciate the raid, thank you. I never knew there was a posh, Brit a posh British part of Transylvania. It's a secret place where I live. Nobody knows it exists. It's another realm. Um, right, okay, so I'm, go I'm going to probably make a pixel icon of this. I don't know if we're going to need this arrow, but we we're going to need that one. I don't know, actually. Maybe we should just have that one. What, what, are, you know these arrows, what are the general, what do they usually indicate? I'm trying to figure it out now. Does, does this kind of symbol indicate that something is on the next map like direction wise or is i'm trying to work out why some this symbol would be used over this one i'm actually curious now because i'm at don't actually know <laughs> invite only players that's right Have you, have you guys seen what we do in the Shadows movie? No, I haven't, Kung. Is it good? Are they part of an animation? No, they're just flat icons. This is basically the icon sheet I'm using, but there's a lot of default ones that will gradually get replaced. All these here are going to slowly get replaced with other icons over time. But these ones on this particular line and this here, these are ones that I've recently done and that are confirmed to be in the game. We want more of a pixel icon set rather than a vector icon set. Um, and uh, these I'm going to change into pixel ones. These are kind of just a reference I'm using. But basically what I'm trying to do, what these, these icons are going to be, they're going to be on the map because we have a mini map. And um, it's going to represent where the quest is. So like say if you're on a map but the quest destination is on the next map it will like the arrow will be there to show that it's on the next map if that makes sense i hope i'm not being confusing 
so um yeah it's like a mini map direction sort of guide i guess that's the best way to sum it up obviously i'd have to do it face in different ways different directions because we've only got it pointing south at the moment but we'd I'd have to do it in all directions It's the best. It's a funny vampire movie. It's from Australia. There's so many movies I haven't seen out there. I'm missing out. Is it the one with the werewolves as well? Um, evil, evil face. If you don't mind, I'd rather you not try to guess where I live. Um, you're 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 wrong with all your guesses, by the way. But I am going to just say to not talk or try and guess because it's. It's a little bit dangerous for a streamer to talk about where they live, so if you don't mind. Um, okay, so um, <laughs> just uh, I've had that problem before. I got stalked once and I'd rather it not happen again, thank you. Uh, right, so where were we? We were talking about the arrows and I think I, I'm trying to work out whether I want this arrow or this arrow because I don't even know which one to go for I think this one because this one to me symbolizes something on the next screen more than that one but at the end of the day once we've done this one we've got that arrow anyway because literally that's the same as that just with an extra bit um okay so I'm gonna copy and paste these and put them in graphic scale and we're going to turn them into pixels. Um, it'll be simple enough to do because they're literally just triangles. So I'm sorry guys, but I'm not <laughs> accidentally not showing you graphics gal. Here we are. I'm just I'm literally just starting the arrow now. Sometimes I forget I've not got the program open on stream. Exclamation mark rules. We don't have a rules command Python. What are you hoping to find? <laughs> are you looking for the stream rules? Is that what you're looking for? We do have them in the panels. We actually call them values rather than rules, but they're, they are in the panels. So feel free to have a peek if you'd like. Um, unfortunately though like there's probably a lot of rules that I have up that I don't there's probably a lot that I could put up but I don't because we'd be going on forever and ever otherwise and I don't want to make the stream look too intimidating and have like an endless list of rules so I keep it short and sweet and just put the main ones up can I say or what do you mean can you say or I'm confused why would the word or be banned? That would be that would be a bit frightening. Commandments. <laughs> but yeah, the major rules, they're in the panels, so they're the key ones really. Uh, most things are common sense in all honesty. Like things like don't talk about where the streamer lives, that is to me common sense and doesn't need to be put as a rule. Uh, okay, so Let's see if we can pull this off.
I think we get in there sort of. Maybe it's a bit, it's not perfect, but we'll get there. I've got the shape. Might just alter a few bits though. Don't talk about rainbow. <laughs> Beware of bathrooms. Liquid, how did you know all my secret rules? These ones were a secret. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I want it to be a bit thicker. Maybe, yeah, it probably it looks better, a bit thicker. That'll work. I think that's 32 by 32, which is the size. I'm going to just fill it in now and add a little bit of shading. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and make it basically look like these here. Same style. I'm just going to give it this outline instead for now. And really, once we've, once we've done this arrow and done all the directions for it, rotated it and stuff, um, that's kind of the last of the current UI that we need. Um, there's not really anything I can think of right now that, that we need to do as well. Because we've got our quest markers and that. We, all our quest journal is done. Just need to fix that quest journal bug I was having. Get rule eight, get a kick ass partner. <laughs> thick, yes. The, you got to have a thick arrow. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, but yeah, you got to. Sometimes I don't know how much highlight I should have, but I don't think I'm going too over the top with it, but... See how that looks. Yeah, I think what what we need I need to do anyway is make this kind of colour here a bit darker on all of them because it that it's not really showing up on the map too much. So we'll make it a touch darker. I do have, um, I've got the background here because I like to see an example of how it looks against the background because that's how it will be in the game. Also, I've made a mistake. Accidentally coloured in something I shouldn't have. One pixel shadow. I actually did attempt to do a drop shadow. I I I um, copied and pasted them into Photoshop and added the drop shadow effect on in there. Um, but I got rid of it because uh, I thought I'll do a stroke instead, a darker stroke. It'll probably look a bit a bit tidier. But I I am, I will probably consider adding the drop shadow again if all else fails. But. Um, I don't think I think now I've made it th that outline a, a touch darker. It, it does. It's an improvement. No, 
I'll do the same for these as well. If the outline's too light, it, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't usually stand out too well against a background. But yeah, that, that's gone a long way. Um, still not 100% about the look of that yet, but it's it'll do for now. It's, it's, uh, it looks how it needs to do. Just maybe edit a few like final touches with that arrow and that'll be it. I'll just copy and paste them all back into Photoshop now and then I'm going to give them a test before we finish for the day and yeah icons for now are done there's going to be obviously a lot of opportunities for doing more icons and because we've got all these here but I'll probably mainly use existing icons for that for those because we're going to have so many and there's lots of really good ones, for example, here. These are like pixel art icons that we can make use of, things like this. We'll be using a lot of those for our loot, our crafting materials, weapons, potions, and all those kind of icons. They're basically all here. Armour, weapons, books, everything. And I think that kind of style will go really well with the pixel art icons we've currently got. And because uh, that's kind of what we got here with these two icons. They're the quest icons. The new blue hue is calmer and not as neon as the other. Yeah, I've used the same, uh, the same colours. But yeah, I kind of do like the blue. Not neon blue, but the calm blue that we've got because it kind of already matches the UI. Raindrop Chronicles UI is blue. Um, so I do kind of like bringing in that blue in certain elements of the game. But then we have to use other colours. Like I feel like the gold or the, or the yellow, however, whatever colour it is, is the best way to, to represent a new quest, like a brand new quest. And then using the default sort of blue for something that's already in progress. At the moment, that's how it's working anyway. It, do, it could change because, like we said, between now and the release of episode one, a few things might change, if you know what I mean. But once episode one's been released, the game will probably stay the same because we won't want episode two to look completely different. <laughs> More of a moon blown. It's a nice blue, isn't it? But yeah, they, this these arrows here, the blue on these, yeah, I wasn't going to copy that colour because uh, they're not really the colour scheme that we're after. But these were just more of a reference image for the shape, really, rather than the colour. Um, so let's just delete those for now. We copied and pasted them. Yeah, the, I've, made, I've made, you can probably see the outline's a bit darker now on all of them. Um, which I knew I had to do because it, what they weren't really standing out as much on the map as I wanted them to, mainly the yellow ones. But all backgrounds are going to be different. Like some areas will be foresty and have a lot of greens and browns and blues. And other places will be dark. There'll be a lot of different colour schemes. And the important thing is that these icons stand out on all types of backgrounds. If they're not going to have a drop shadow, that is. But there is always the option to add that sort of thing if, if it's necessary. Um, so we'll just see how it goes, really. Okay, so that's there. So, um... Yeah, the, the icons are really getting there and the UI is basically done as well. Got to just sort out that bug with the quest log. Fill in the descriptions for quest one and two. 
we've, we've kind of done the description request one already and just make sure they're all working and the triggering when they should and then getting the map indicators up on the map and things like that there's just those little bits still to do tying all those little things together and then once all that's out of the way um, that's when i'm going to really focus on the skills we're going to have a next week will be very much a skill discussion stream um just for the current skills that is in the cur for the current classes that are in the game not any not any that aren't yet we don't want to overwhelm ourselves okay so i'm going to save it save all this now um And I'm gonna have a little mess about off stream today as well. Um, mainly see if I can fix that bug. We get a, I get a lot of bugs without question, but it's it's a feature that's really worth having. Um, I think it makes the game better having that quest journal feature. What is everybody's plans for tonight? Is anybody doing anything fun? Okay guys, so I'm going to end with you all there. I think at this point, um, I can still carry on with stuff, but stream is kind of coming to an end. So it's probably better not to get too stuck in on something when we're coming towards the end. I always end around 6pm each day approximately. So um, that's the time it is in the UK at the moment. And then I'll be having my dinner. And I'll be back tomorrow for the last stream of the week. It'll be stream 50 tomorrow. So it's going to be... That's a bit of a celebration, fingers crossed. Posters is working on the website, so it will be officially launched. Um, even though it won't, and nothing exciting will be up yet now, but I'll be working on it for sure. Um, okay, so we're going to go say hi to somebody. Raid exclamation mark, let's go say hi to somebody. Um, I'm hungry one, so I can't stick around for too long. But we will go somewhere. So I'm going to get my Twitch open. I've got pins and needles. Catch you Monday, yeah, yeah. See you on Monday then. Sierra, thank you for hanging out today with us. And you, Kung. I appreciate you guys. Right, so I'm going to just drop us off at Elite Stream today. Um, he is, he's got a kitty cam now. Just so you know, he's got a kitty cam for his cats. And I think that's reason to celebrate and uh, see how he's getting on. Let me get that stream up. Um, let's go and see the kitty cam. Okay, guys, I will see you tomorrow for the final stream of the week and the special stream 50. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. All the best, guys.